Assalamu alaikum. Uh, this is what you need to do for your game. Okay, there is this screen app.io application, and there are many other websites from where you can select the options to record your screen with audio. Okay, then share and start on the record button. And then you will start recording. When you see the start recording, just play your game. Okay, to show me different things. Okay, so for example, when I play this game, you can see the screen. And I, when it starts, I can move my player left and right. Okay, so here I play it. And you can see there is a message, game over. When the game starts, actually this message is disappeared. Okay, it should disappear because I will tell you how. So I'm getting some point score. You can see there is a score of three and four, etc. at the end. And when the game is over, I cannot do anything. So I can just move left and right. But if I press the space button, nothing happens. No more animals. Okay, the game is over when the score is there. So you should have seen the score here and you should see the screen of game over, game over message and then I stop. Okay, now uh, you need to show me all those files one by one for two seconds okay i have uh, written those instructions and then important thing that's changed from the tutorial is that we will need a player controller in many scripts in three scripts okay this is in the destroy out of bound script you have the player controller and we initiate here using this method okay so we have the player controller object here class here then we get an instance using this line and then we use it in different scripts so in destroy out of bound we have actually used this because we want to make the game over true now this game over is within the player okay which is the player controller so if i go in the player controller i have defined a game over which is initially false and i have also defined a score so the game over is controlled in the collision detection uh, sorry uh, the score is here in the collision detection. You can see that whenever there is a collision, I increase the score. Okay. And I also print the score on the screen. Similarly, uh, in the player controller, I have already the score and game over. I go to spawn manager. I create the player. I instantiate the player and I use this. Okay. If the player is game over, okay, the game is already over, then I will return, which means that I will not initiate this. If the game over is false, then it will actually spawn. So this is the use of game over in spawn manager, then the use of game over in destroy of bounds. I explained to you, okay, that the play, uh, player dot game over will be false, uh, true, which means that when the game is over, then it will not do anything. It will not actually, you know, spawn the objects and it will not work for the space. So if you see the space key, I have already also added the game over false condition, okay? So these are the things that you will add which are not there. You will instantiate the score with zero, okay? And uh, also <clears throat> changes you need to make, important change that you don't need to have the, you know, um, the detect collision with the animal scripts, okay? So the detect collision script is only with this one, okay? You can see there is the detect collision with only foodborne. You need to remove it from the dog, okay? Or from the other two animals. Because if the detect collision is in both scripts, the score will increase by two. We want to increase the score only by one. So it means that there will be only detect collision with this one. Okay. Uh, so if I play the game, okay, it will start scoring. And one more thing is that if you go to window, okay, general and uh, console, or you can click on control shift C, this is before starting the recording. Okay. So there is, you know, this option. Uh, to clear the log whenever you want, let's say, okay, from here. And also you can say, uh, click here on clear on play. So make this enable. Why? Because when you start the game, for example, you will see that your console will be uh, empty. Okay, you will not see anything. So when the game starts actually, and you see any animals, for example, I click here. So I see the score of one, then I see the score of two, score of three, etc. Okay. And when the game is over, you will see the game over after the score over here. So this is how the whole recording is. Now, all these points have been there on the, uh, you know, LMS. If I show it to you, uh, these are 12 points. Okay, so you can have a maximum of 12 points. Okay, if you miss any point, you will not get them. So two points are bonus, 10 point of assignment and two are bonus. You should follow these before starting the recording. You should make sure that everything is, uh, you know, met. Okay.